Hello everyone, my name is Marvel. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks again for tuning in, I really appreciate it. If you're finding me for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for more videos like this. Without further ado, let's jump straight to today's video. There are way more advantages when it comes down to agricultural land ownership. As the landowner, you are able to dictate what needs to exist in land and what does not. One of the advantages include the ability to grow trees, start a garden, and eventually benefit from natural breeze and shade on a sunny day. And on the top of it, you are helping save the planet from global warming. More on global warming later on in the video. Stick around for that part, it's very interesting. Another advantage of agriculture or farming is that everything serves a purpose, from livestock to plants. They work interchangeably and benefit from one another. For instance, animal waste such as pig feces can be utilized as fertilizer for your crops without adding any chemicals into agricultural products. I did not mention that pig feces make your crops germinate much faster and grow bigger. Other use for pig feces include renewable energy. You may ask me by how? Hold on, I got you. The solid parts of the feces are converted into methane, which can be used to generate electricity. In case you are uncertain what methane is, let me explain. Methane is a greenhouse gas that comes from pig feces. The majority of methane emissions from pig farms come from feces storage. Now imagine generating electricity from pig feces that you did not pay for. Furthermore, pig alone is a very unique animal. For years, Scientists have been studying kidney transplants, and pigs so far is the only animal which intestines are similar to that of a human being. A research group has successfully transplanted genetically modified pig kidneys into human being recipients. To be more specific, University of Alabama and Birmingham. The kidneys produce urine and perform life sustaining kidney functions for seven days. While this is an evolving topic, we can conclude that some of the outcomes have received positive feedback. I can already see the price of starting a piggery dramatically skyrocketing in the future, thus requiring millions of dollars to start pig farming. Due to evolving scientific research in an efforts to normalize pig kidney transplants into human beings. Brothers and sisters, get into farming when you can before it is too late. While pigs are important and they can produce feces that later can be transformed into fertilizer, I should point out that pigs are very expensive to maintain. They need to be vaccinated just like human beings. They require treatments throughout the year to keep them from getting sick. I hire personally a vet who is very well known in the area where my farm is located. The vet has a yearly schedule for their vaccines and other vitamins and antibiotics to keep them healthy. Keep that in mind if you're considering getting into pig farming. I had a diversity of plants when I launched tree planting campaign, avocado, plantain, palm tree, sawfu tree, and more importantly, acacia trees. Guys, I love acacia trees. They provide the most shade when fully grown and they are one of the best trees used to make charcoal out of. Depending on how big the tree gets, you could get five bags of charcoal out of it. Most people rely on charcoal to cook in Kinshasa due to lack of electricity. In Congo, even when electricity is present, people don't rely on it too much because you are risking your dinner time. It is winter time here in the United States, but I am hot. Speaking of heat, let's get back to the global warming part. Remember earlier in the video, I told you I was gonna get back to the global warming part? So this is it, buckle up. The main driver of climate change is the greenhouse effect. Some gases in the Earth's atmosphere act a bit like the glass in a greenhouse trapping the sun's heat and stopping it from leaking back into space 
and causing global warming. Many of these greenhouse gases occur naturally, but human activities are increasing the concentrations of some of them in the atmosphere, in particular carbon dioxide, methane, nutrient oxide, and many more. Air produced by human activities is the largest contributor to global warming. By 2020, its concentration in the atmosphere had risen to 48% above its pre-industrial level before 1750. Other greenhouse gases are emitted by human activities in smaller quantities. Methane is a more powerful greenhouse gas than CO2, meaning air, but has a shorter atmospheric lifetime. Nutrious oxide like air is a long-lived greenhouse gas that accumulates in the atmosphere over decades to centuries. Non-greenhouse gas pollutants, including aerosols like soot, have different warming and cooling effects and are also associated with other issues such as poor air quality. Natural causes such as changes in solar radiation or volcanic activity are estimated to have contributed less than plus or minus 0.1 Celsius to total warming between 1890 and 2010. Technically, human activities, including farming, contributes to global warming. Now, this is the point where land ownership comes in really handy. Remember earlier in the video when I stated that as the landowner, you pretty much have control over activities taking place in your farm, which means you can be a hero by saving the planet. Now, how do you do that? Very simple. Here's the solution. Plant as many trees as you can and make sure it's very well maintained. Don't cut down on your trees yet unless you really have a good reason. But my recommendation to you is when you cut down trees, make sure you replace more trees to compensate for it. Trees absorb all pollutants, thus preventing it from spreading through the air. And believe me, People living in rural areas actually have better health than some of us who live in cities and suburban areas. With all the trees surrounding them, they breathe natural air that is not contaminated by the toxicity of all the pollutants emitted through human activities. That's one advantage that people living in those areas have over us. Now you know the impact you can make by being a farmer, now it is up to you to make the call. I can't make the call for you. You gotta do it on your own. I am doing my part, and you should do yours too. Nothing is more important than being a part of a positive change. You don't neither have to have your name on the news nor in a history book to get the feeling of recognition but the community in which you are based will speak positively about you. Be a hero under the shade and the nature will thank you one way or another. Continue to do the right thing in everything you do in your lifetime and the world will remember you. All right, everybody, this video has come to an end. Thank you guys so much for your engagement. I enjoy making this video just as much as you've watched it. We all the winner here. Make the impact and know what you're worth. Come back to watch more videos like this in the future. Until the next one, I'll see you guys soon. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Peace out.